to ask you, the outcome is you brought it to life. What gave you the courage to bring it to life? Oh, that's a great question. The idea is the easy part. <laughs> it's the easy part. It's the fun part. Yeah. It's the part that, you know, movies are made of and, you know, there's romance around that area of entrepreneurship. I really didn't want to is probably the initial reaction. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was doing quite well in my career. I thought I would continue to be an executor or COO for someone, you know, continue to grow there. I didn't want to be the person that had the idea, but a piece of advice that was given to me was one decision at a time. Just keep on mm. making decisions to move the company forward. And that, you know, people often ask me, where was the jump in moment? Yeah. Right. What was the moment that you decided to start the company? And there was not a moment. There was just a continuation of small decisions. I'm going to put the first 25K into the business. I'm going to talk to a lawyer and learn about an operating agreement. I'm going to go take this course. I'm going to go look at some real estate. I'm going to put in an LOI. Mm -hmm. The biggest decision I made in that first year while I was doing a full slide hustle, I never quit my job, by the way, because to me, this was still just an idea for the mm -hmm. first 18 months. It was just an idea I could pull out anytime, even after we had press written about us and we had a Twitter account. It was still just an idea. The biggest decision was signing a lease for a physical location. But even then, I thought worst case scenario, I could turn this into a co-working space or a yoga studio.